Hello, this is Noreen Cronfindley from cronfindley.com and tottytalkscrafts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to weave a strawberry on the uh, Thumbelina loom. We're, I'm working with uh, Lion Brand uh, Bonbon uh, yarn the, using green, uh, red and gold for the um, strawberry. We're going to start with the leaf and I'm going to leave oh, at least six inches of tail and make a slip knot and skip the first two nails on the lower edge of the loom then skip two nails on the upper edge go back and forth uh, up and down and bring the yarn around the uh, second one from the end on the left hand side. Now we're going to here let's slip the shed stick in. We're going to be using the a crochet hook to weave the leaves and so I'm going to take the yarn end into that loop that I formed by pulling a loop through the warp strands. Now I'm going to, for the second row, I will weave the hook through and take the yarn end through that loop that I formed and ease it back. I'm going to keep working like this until I am halfway up the loom and at that point we're going to pull in to shape the leaves. Okay. If you don't pull this yarn in through the loop, what's going to end up happening is that when you lift your weaving off the loom, they would not, uh, the weaving would not stay in place. And so the taking the yarn in through the loop then locks it in place. Now we can start to sort of start pulling in to be shaping the leaf. You can see how I'm pulling my rows tighter to get the leaf shape. What we're doing is we're weaving two leaves that are going to come in at the center and so that's why I'm pulling in at the center to make the leaves a bit more shapely. There. And then when I weave the second uh, leaf then I will start shaping back out again. There, I'm easing it right in. Well, tugging it actually. And I'm going to tug quite hard to pull that in. And now I'm going to just. I've got the narrowest part of the, um, the middle of the two leaves. I'm pulling through a loop here and I want to make a stem. So I'm going to take the yarn over through that leaf and I, what I'm doing is I'm actually chaining. So I'm going to do, gosh, I lost track. I should have been counting. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do about 10. So that's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, let me see, is that gonna make it long enough? Yeah, that, that'll make a little, no, let's make it 12, 13, 14, 15. 
there we go and good so that gives me the the stem which can also be a hanger uh, for the strawberry so I'm going to take my yarn back through and pull it through the loop on the hook and then start weaving again so I'm going to take this yarn end through that loop and I'm going to start making sure that my leaf gets wider so I'm going to ease my stitches back out again my rows back out again to give me more shape with my strawberry leaf and I'm getting close enough to the I'm using to the shed stick to think pretty soon I'm going to pull that shed stick out I'm using my index, uh, the tip of my index finger on my left finger to spread the rows out as I'm weaving them. Because I want to, and I pull this way to get some, get the leaf to be a bit wider. Take my end through. I'm going to slip my hook in along the shed stick and then I'm going to pop the needle in and pull out the shed stick. So you see the needle is above the, the uh, nails. Take my end through. You always have to take your end through or else you'll lose that row. And And that's got to come out. Be careful to not accidentally hook your weaving around one of the other nails because uh, you'll get a funny bump on the edge of your leaf. Looks like I need to do one more, one more row here. Perfect. Okay, and now I'm going to lift my leaves off. And by pulling the ends up, that see how nicely that leaf is shaped? It's just perfect. So I'm going to just tie it once. And then I will trim this, giving myself probably about 8 inches or so. And I'm going to take this end... I'll just zip along the edge so that I can go back down to the starting edge so that I can gather up the edge at the start of the first leaf. I'll give that a bit of a twist. Oh, no, it's not going to twist on me. Oh, there. That's better and work my way along the edge of the first leaf and 
and I'm going to go through all the stitches at the tip of the first leaf. I'm going to go through one more time just to gather that edge of the leaf. And now I want uh, both, um, I want the yarn ends uh, from both of the leaves to come back to the center uh, because I'm going to use them to stitch to the strawberry itself. Okay, so that one's at the center now and I will take the yarn end from the other leaf into the center. There we go. The leaves and stem. And the thing about doing the stem crocheted as a loop like this, it does mean that you can hang the strawberry up if you want to. You don't have to, but you can. Okay, so there's how to do the leaves for your strawberry. So, bring that up a bit closer. So next we'll weave the fruit. To weave the fruit part of the strawberry, we're going to leave a tail end of about 10 inches and make a slip knot. Place the slip knot on the lower right hand nail and then go up and down across the loom with the red yarn. end at the left hand edge at the lower side of the loom and uh, we're just going to put it under the loom for now just to hold it in place. Don't cut the red yarn. We're going to take a short, well it will be a short length, um, make a slip knot with the gold yarn because we want to have a bit of yellow uh, to be the seeds and it's also good to have a little bit of yellow at the tip because sometimes strawberries do that. So we're putting the slip knot on the third knot and we're just going to go up and down and we're going to end, we're going to do a half hitch by making the letter E popping that onto the loom, snipping the end. Well, actually, we don't need to really even do a half hitch. We can just go around and take the yarn through. There we go. Now, I'm going to insert the shed stick. Sorry, it's bouncing around there a bit. So, under one, over one, under one. Now you're going to treat the strands at the center as if they are a single strand. So, then you will be running your crochet hook through, pulling up a loop and bringing the yarn and out through the loop. Now go over and under. Again, treat the double strands at the center as if they are a single strand. Push down on the weaving bring the loop over, pick up the long your end at the side of the right hand side of the loom and that catches there. So I'm going to continue working these two rows up to the shed stick.
Okay, I've woven all the way up to the shed stick, so I'm going to pull it out. Now I am going to lift the um, loop off of the edge um, um, nail. You know, your mind goes blank and you can't remember a word. Well, that's just what happened here. Okay, and then I'm going to lift the edge Ooh. loop off of that one, too. Pull it through. And I'm going to kind of start pulling up to shape the tip of the strawberry. And I'm going to do one more row here, and then I'm going to lift the next set of loops off. Pulling in. And I'm going to lift this one off, weave across and lift this one off. Sometimes it helps if you use your needle to lift the strand off. There we go. I'm going to pull. Oops. And bring this back. Pull up. Weave, row through here. I can't get my uh, crochet hook to go through here, so I sneak it down to the row below. Now I'm going to pull up some more. I'm going to lift all three of the loops off. I'm going to pop that off. I'll undo that knot afterwards and lift this off. Lift off this end. I'm going to take the yarn through and take my ends both this end and the yellow end through and pull up. So there's the tip of the strawberry. I'm going to use the strand of yellow yarn at the top. I'm going to weave the end, the needle, through the loops at the top of the strawberry. There's going to be a bit of a long end there, but that's okay because the whoops, it didn't. The leaves are going to cover it, and I'm going to go back through to the middle. Pull the upper edge in. That one's kind of take another stitch through. Now. If your strawberry is going to be applique onto something else, you can just take your ends up behind or um, take the gold end up inside and use the red ends for um, stitching your strawberry to um, whatever it is it's going to be stitched to. You're going to place the leaf onto your strawberry and stitch them in place. I'll do all the stitching and uh, can, uh, we'll come back and show you in a minute. If you want a, s a smaller strawberry, just simply fold down the upper edge and that will give you a smaller strawberry. And that can either be folded to the back and covered Personally, I prefer a smaller strawberry. It looks 
sort of more correct. And then uh, stitch your, use your green to stitch the uh, leaves to the strawberry. And I will just go do that and then be right back. And there we have a strawberry to weave on the Thumbelina loom. Now I used the gold yarn ends to add a few extra seeds at the sides and I haven't steamed it to uh, flatten it out yet but um, I will do that after. Uh, I'm leaving the yarn ends uh, not stitched in or woven in because I'm going to be using the strawberry motif on another project that I want to have the yarn ends uh, available to stitch it in. And I did use the green to stitch the strawberry, uh, the leaves to the strawberry. So, Happy weaving, happy Thumbelina, and I hope your strawberry harvest is magnificent. So, joy as you go. Happy weaving, until I see you again.